Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently. For the former president of America, Mr. Donald Trump. Mr. Donald Trump. That says the spirit of the Lord. You are the hope of what is left of America. And to a certain extent, what is left of this generation, you are the hope. You are the hope of what is left of America. And to a certain extent, what is left of this generation. And the Spirit of God said, I should tell you, the next level of attack that is coming to you is not a court case. It's not an accusation that will cause you to be arrested. Of course, before your court case came, I prophesied about it, that you are going to have an accusation, a court case will rise up against you and all that. I spoke about it before it came into fruition. Now, the next level of attack I'm seeing, your, your enemies or your opponents are going to project towards you. It's not only a court case, but this time I am seeing an attempted assassination, an attempted assassination. And therefore the Spirit of the Lord said, be very careful and be very calculative how you take your step and how you step out. Because certain people have come together and they have decided to say, regardless of everything we have done, this man still has the heart of the people. And if we don't take him out, he will come and overtake and destroy all our plans. So your life is very important, not only to the people of America, but to a certain extent, the rest of this generation, the rest of the world, your life is very important. And therefore there is every need for you to take very good care of yourself. And we also pray, as much as you take very good care of yourself, may the Most High God protect you, defend you, and fight for you. Protect you, defend you, and fight for you. Protect you, defend you, and fight for you. And the next, the next election in America, the Spirit of God said, it is going to be more spiritual than physical. The election is going to be more spiritual than physical. Whoever is going to take the seat of governance in the White House is not going to be because they have campaigned very well. It is going to be as a result of how far they have gone to prepare themselves in the realms of the spirit. In the realms of the spirit. The Bible said, and Balaam built altars. And Balaam built altars. How will somebody who is a sorcerer, how will somebody who is a witch, a wizard, build altars? Because it matters. It matters how you prepare yourself spiritually matters. And has it not been for the grace of God and the mercy of God on the Israelite? The Bible said anytime you open his mouth to say, I curse the Israelite, his, his tongue gets arrested by the power of God and he ends up saying, I bless the Israelites. Because God knew that according to his preparation and the altars he has built and the many blood he has sacrificed on the altars, when he opened his mouth, to do his incantation and his declaration, something will be overturned against the children of God. So God had to intervene. God had to intervene. And the Spirit of God said, the election in America next year between Donald Trump and all the other people, it is not just going to be physical. It is going to be more spiritual than physical. It is going to be more spiritual than physical. So don't wait one month to the election. You gather pastors around you to pray. No. This is the time. This is the time for you to start building momentum in the realms of the spirit. This is the time for you to take hold of the horns of the altar of heaven and cry out to God for grace, for favor, for power. Because the reason why you lost your election the last time was not because people did not vote for you. It was because your star was overturned in the realm of the spirit. And it is possible your star can be overturned again in the realm of the spirit. So that is the word of God for Donald Trump. The spirit of God also said, Donald Trump, your opponents, spiritually because of their workings and their dealings and their doings, when they are not able to get you to attack you and to take you out, it will transfer onto your children. And when it transfer onto your children, your children will be taken out one after the other spiritually. They will be taken out one after the other, one after the other, one after the other. So prayer needs to be offered 
your children need to be covered in prayer. And it is very important. The Spirit of God said, you are the hope of what is left of America. And to a certain extent, you are the hope of what is left of this generation. The entire world, you are the hope of it. Dr. Elijah Kofi King is worth hearing. Fire One TV. Graced differently. Anointed differently.